Welcome back everyone, it's Eric from Eric Haney. Here today on the channel, we're gonna be cracking open three boxes of the newest set, Team Up. And also too, real quick, just wanna do a quick little apology about the lack of content lately. If you guys missed our community update here on the channel, I did mention I had a pretty bad respiratory infection and I've been coughing and you know I've been in bad shape and I haven't been able to record anything. So uh, we're gonna open up some boxes here today, kind of ease back into the swing of things on the channel, but just wanna say uh, thanks again for everyone's patience while I've been sick trying to recover so we can get back to our normal upload schedule. But here today, like I said, we are opening three boxes of Team Up. And because I've been sick, I actually haven't been able to go to any pre-releases or anything like that. So these are actually gonna be my first cards ever opening from the set. So basically everything is gonna be uh, fresh and new for me at this point. And so normally what we do for our box openings, we're gonna do uh, the first one, kind of like a normal opening. And then the other two, we're gonna do speed openings. Uh, normally we open up a whole case here on the channel, but unfortunately I needed some PTCGO codes from the set pretty quickly. So I did open a couple other boxes off camera. So uh, this is a little bit of an exception. Normally, of course, we do a whole case opening, but like I said, we still have three boxes. We should be able to show off the pull rates pretty decently here and get a feel for, uh, you know, what your odds are pulling certain things from the set. But anyways, so let's dig in and see what Team Up has in store for us. Of course, this is going to be featuring the new tag teams, uh, like they mentioned here on the box. We got Eevee Snorlax, Gengar Mimikyu, uh, of course, the iconic Pikachu Zekrom. Plenty of other cool things in this set as well. So let's start opening this thing up and see what we can get. And also too guys, just wanna give a quick shout out to one of our sponsors, Flipside Gaming. If you guys are actually looking for some team up cards or anything else, definitely head over there to flipsidegaming.com and use the coupon code RAREcandy, all caps, one word, at checkout and you'll get 10% off your order. So go check them out if you guys do need some cards uh, from team up or anything else. And it's actually my first time seeing the pack cards too. So let's see what we have here. Okay. So of course they're just showing off all the tag teams. We got our boy Gengar, we got the Eevee Snorlax, Venusaur Selby, Pikachu Zekrom. I gotta say, I actually think the art on the packs looks significantly better than the ones on the actual cards. Uh, maybe with the exception of Zekrom Pikachu, I think all three of these like just beat the living snot out of the like set counterparts. So kind of a bummer we don't have arts with this artwork. I think that would actually be a lot cooler. But you know, just Kind of a nitpick, uh, you know, really quick. Uh, not that it matters too much. But anyways, let's dig in. I believe one of these did come from this half of the box. I forget which one. I think it actually might've been Gengar Mimikyu. Could be mistaken, but anyways. Let's dig in and see what we can get, guys. So of course, this is gonna kick off the newest block of the Sun and Moon era. Uh, with the team up cards and all this, or attack teams, I mean. So I'll have to see if the pull rates actually have been influenced at all by that. I haven't watched any openings yet of this set, to be honest, so I really have no idea what we're in store for. So here we have ourselves a Vulpix, Joltik, Blitzel, Squirtle, Tentacool, the new energies. Uh, I believe all of them have this type of treatment now. They look, look okay, I guess. Uh, we have Unidentified Fossil, Farfetch'd, Tentacruel, a Reverse Hall Vulpix, <laughs> and we have Mr. Mime GX right off the bat. So we did get a GX, but much like in Celestial Storm, Mr. Mime is definitely one of the least exciting cards we could possibly pull. Uh, so I'm trying not to get too many of this guy throughout this opening if possible. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I do collect, so I you know, will need one of these for my collection, but other than that, really try not to pull this guy, if at all possible. So fingers crossed on that. Hopefully we can get some better GXs for the rest of this opening. So of course, when it comes to GXs, the tag teams are gonna be highly sought after, but also I have to say, I'm a pretty big fan of the new Incineroar. Uh, I've done a little bit of testing with that at the time of filming. Card seems pretty cool. The new Lycanroc GX also isn't too bad either. So there's even a couple of non-GXs that would be pretty nice to get. Or I'm sorry, non-tag team GXs that would be nice to get. So here we have ourselves a Molga, Staryu, Puchina, Low and Geodude, Paris, Grass Energy, Ingo and Emmett, pretty solid new supporter we're getting, War Turtle. I actually do like the art on this one. 
Tauros. Oh, very nice. Reverse Hollow Nidoqueen, uh, which is a rare and actually not too bad of a card either. And we have a Hollow Bills analysis. I did not know this was a Hollow. That's actually kind of depressing. <laughs> Card's not that great. Like, there's certain situations I could see playing this card, but look at the top seven. Get two trainer cards, you finally put them into your hands. Kind of like trainer's mail, but it's a supporter. Eh. So, not sure how good the card is going to be, but hey, it is a hollow. So, we're doing pretty good as far as our actual pull rates go so far. One hollow, one GX. So, I would be a little surprised if we are going to continue the streak, but we'll see. Squirtle, Bronzor. Klefki, Pidgey, Mulga, Fire Energy, Golduck. I actually really like the art on this thing. It looks pretty nice. I didn't even know there was a Golduck in this set. Let's see, Swim. Maybe your opponent's Pokemon have any water energy attached to me. Do 90 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon instead of their active. Oh, that is not too good. Dana. We have Spirit Tomb. Oh, very nice. Reverse Hall Pidgey. I'm actually a pretty big fan of this card. We've done a little bit of testing. Uh, with a Charizard deck we posted a couple weeks ago showing off this card. Uh, pretty cool new non-GX kind of like support engine here. Uh, once during your turn, you may look at the top two cards of your deck, put one into your hand, put the other on the bottom. So kind of like Acrobike, but uh, as an ability. And we have a Lapras. So not too bad. Actually really happy with the Pidgeotto. Definitely want a playset of those if possible. And speaking of non-GX like support engines, uh, definitely going to be on the hunt for any copies of Jirachi. That's going to be one of the big chase cards that is not an ultra rare. So we're definitely going to be looking for those as well. So here we have Charmander, Mankey, Litten, Amolga, Mareep, Grass Energy, Kabuto, Fairy Charm, Ultra Beast, Charmeleon, uh, Reverse Hall Alone Gold, which is a rare. It's kind of nice. And we have a rare Ferrothorn. Another card, not really too familiar with it. Let's see, 80, there's 20 times the amount of mental energy attached to Pokemon, 20 of your punch bench Pokemon. Can't do more than 100 to a bench Pokemon in this way. Not too great. That's probably why I don't remember it. There are a good bit of cards in the set. It's like 180, excluding like secret rares and things like that. So a lot of cards here. A lot of them we didn't even get the cover in our set review just because there's so many. Kind of like that Ferrothorn got kind of got pushed to the wayside. All right, but here we have Dratini, Alolan Grimer, Ponyta, Cosmog, Voltorb, Fighting Energy, Alolan Graveler, Ammonite, Water Memory for Slavali GX, Charmander. Hey, very nice. We have a Full Art Ingo and Emmet. Full Art supporters are definitely always welcome. Very nice. I actually didn't even know that there was a full art for this one in the set. I should have assumed so. But, um, yeah. Very, very nice pull. Uh, much, much better than the Mr. Mime that we already got. So we'll get a sleeve on that. Actually, I forgot. Let's get a sleeve on our boy Mr. Mime as well. It is a GX. We can at least do it a favor of putting it in a sleeve, if nothing else. So we'll set, uh, let's move this around a little quick. So we'll go ahead and put our Ultra Rares and GXs over there. Alrighty, so we're really not doing too bad. We haven't opened that many packs with two Ultra Rares. We got a pretty good Reverse Hollow, one Hollow so far. Let's see if we can keep up our good luck here. There we go. So we have Puccina, Nidoran Female, Pancham, Voltorb, Klefki, Fairy Energy, War Turtle, Heliolisk. Very cool. You can kind of see it's like activating, uh, I guess like, you know, kind of like powering itself up. That looks kind of cool. Buff Padding, Cosmog Reverse, and a rare Galvantula. So statistically, with the other sets in the Sun and Moon era, I'd say around six Ultra Rares are going to be our kind of average pull rates five to six will be average we're gonna shoot for at least six though uh two down so far so we're thinking probably three on each side of the box let's see if we can uh 
keep this up and stay on track for that. Ponage, Weedle, Dark Energy, Hitmonlee, Doubly very nice. Definitely wouldn't mind some reverse hall versions of this one either. It has that tool drop attack. 30 for every tool card attached to all Pokemon. Pretty powerful card. Uh, really looking forward to testing this thing out. Dangerous Drill, Reverse Hall Starmie. And we have an alternate type Alolan Executor. All right, so here we have ourselves Meow, Golden Geodude, Grimer, Pidgey, Bronzor, Psychic Energy, Flappy, Taurus, Lavender Town, I think that's our first one, Reverse Hollow Alone Executor. Wouldn't mind getting the other one. I think I prefer the grass version here, but there, I believe there is a different Dragon Executor in the set as well. Gonna be on the lookout for that. Oh, very nice. We have a Hollow Zapdos. Definitely, I think, one of the big, like, Hollow Rare chase cards in the set. And you know, this deck has had a ton of hype, uh, you know, based on how well it's done in Japan. We'll have to see if, you know, internationally the deck can replicate that same success. But this card has been very, very hyped um, just because it's a very powerful non GX, like, one prize attacker. So that's definitely a fantastic pull. And that's one thing I actually do like about this set. There are a number of non-GX, uh, you know, Pokemon that are still worth pulling. You know, we have the Jirachi in the set. We got the Nidoqueen we got earlier. Uh, we also have a Charizard in the set, which is surprisingly actually not too bad. Uh, so there's definitely a few non-GXs we're going to be on the lookout for. So here we have Vulpix, Joltik, Blitzel, Squirtle, Tentacool. Grass Energy, Nidorino, Judge Whistle, very nice. Wouldn't mind uh, the like secret rare version of this one, or even some reverse hollow ones at the very least. Nanu, reverse hollow Geodude, and a rare Kabutops. Uh, definitely a pretty cool ability on this thing if it's your active. Your opponent can't play any supporters. Uh, you know, unfortunately, we are probably not going to see this thing see too much playing expanded since Maxis is getting the boot. Uh, you know, thanks to these new fossil Pokemon coming out. But very curious to see if anyone is going to find a way to effectively make use of that ability. All right, let's keep on going. Here we have Volibee. Oops, knocking over everything. My bad there, guys. We have Weedle, Helioptile, Execute, Ferrisseed, Metal Energy, Torcat, Rock Script, which got reprinted in the set. Oh, very nice. Pokemon Communication, definitely a card I am happy to uh, finally see again in the standard format. Uh, definitely going to be on the lookout for like the Secret Rare ver version of this one, or like I said, with Judge Whistle, at least some Reverse Hollow versions as well. We have Sabrina Suggestion Reverse. And we have a Bisharp. Really like the art on that, that thing. Very, very nice looking. All right, I uh, just want to point out too, no Prism Stars just yet. So uh, we've, ha we've gotten a full art, we've gotten a regular GX. Uh, I think a Prism Star is pretty much the only thing we really haven't seen yet outside of, of course, like secret rares and things like that. So here we have Blitzel, Paris, Volibee, uh, Pidgey, Hone Edge, Grass Energy. Flaffy, Jinx, Kangaskhan, Reverse Geodude, and we have a Cobalion GX. Unfortunately, this is one of the other, I think, probably lower tier GXs that are coming out of this set. <laughs> We're really kind of striking out as far as the quality of our GXs go. But like I said, our actual pull rates are pretty decent so far. They're pretty uh, much what you'd expect. But, um, you know, like I said, guys, too, I am a collector in addition to a player, so I will at least be looking for one of these uh, just to, you know, complete my set. So it, hopefully the, this is one of the few Cabalion we actually pull out of these boxes. All right. 
let's keep on going. Hope we can find ourselves some tag teams in here. Something a little bit more exciting than the Ultra Rares we've pulled so far. But the floor, Ingo and Emmett really isn't too bad though. Just our GXs have left a little bit uh, to want for. <laughs> I actually do like the art on that Graboroid, like the lighting on its back there. We have Ammonite, Water Memory, Oh, very nice reverse hollow Pidgey. This is actually, I think, the better of the two as well. So, you know, if you are going to be playing Pidgeotto in a deck, this is, I think, the one to play. So definitely happy with that. And nice, we have a rare Nidoqueen. So one of the, I think, better non-GX attackers that we're getting in the set. Very, very nice. So we got the regular and the reverse ones so far. So we're doing okay, guys. You know, like I said, I've been a little bit whiny about our GX pulls, but overall, we're really not doing too bad. We've Got a few good things here and there. All right, so here we have Staryu, Litten, Zerua, Weedle, Joltik, Psychic Energy, Ingo and Emmet, Charmeleon, Morgan, Reverse Hollow, Bronzong, and we have a rare Mightyena. Not too many hollow ears so far. I think we've only gotten the Zapdos. Or no, we did get Bill's Maintenance or Analysis. That's what it is. So uh, probably, you know, looking for at least one more hollow ear before we finish off this half of the box. Here we have Weedle, Vullaby, Dratini, Zerua, Fighting Energy, Hitmonlee, another Doublade, very nice. Dangerous Drill, Nidoran Male Reverse. And hey, we did get another Hollow Rare. We have Eveltal. Not too bad. Not an amazing card or anything, but definitely a decent one. I uh, like this first attack. This card is special energy just for one dark energy, 30. Not too bad. Uh, like I said, not a card I'm expecting to see a ton of play, but I could see a world where people play it as like a one of or something. Alrighty. So like I said, our pull rates are pretty much on track. That is definitely reassuring. But hopefully we can get uh, a Prism Star for this half of the box. That is the only thing we're really missing. Here we have Minky, Pancham, Pharaseed, Pidgeotto, very nice. Charmander, wait, is Pidgeotto a common? <laughs> Pidgeotto is a common, that's wild. Uh, Charmander, Metal Energy, Farfetch'd, Cosmoem, Dragonair. Ooh, very nice Reverse Hollow Blastoise. And we have an Alolan Marowak, another one of these alternate type Pokemon. I think this is a reprint of the one from Crimson Invasion, if I remember correctly. Just as, of course, a psychic Pokemon. Alrighty guys, we have a Minky, Vulpix, Pancham, Squirtle, Klefki, Fairy Energy. Nidorino, Judge Whistle, Nanu, Reverse Hollow Buff Padding, not too bad. And we have a rare Skarmory. I'm not even sure what this does. See, if you have used your GX attack, this does 70 more. Ugh, that's not too great. And Steel Wing, uh, take 30 less. Yeah, it's a pretty bad card. Definitely a bulk rare if I've ever seen one. <laughs> so it looks like we only have, I think, three packs left for this half of the box. Be nice if we can get maybe one more like nice ultra rare to close out this half or at the very least a prism star would be welcome. So here we have ourselves a Larvitar, Psyduck, Vulpix, Pawniard, Geodude, Water Energy, Hitmonchan, Grass Memory, Persian, Reverse Pangoro, and nice, we have a Rare Hollow Ninetales, another one of these alternate type cards. Uh, this is, of course, the one that prevents damage against GXs and EXs. And actually kind of cool that it is Fairy type, just because a lot of decks are already playing the Fairy Alone Ninetales GX. So you can theoretically throw this in without having to like run the water energies that you would normally have to with the other like Baby Alone Ninetales. So definitely a good little Hollow Rare to get. No complaints here. Oh, guys, 
I think I may have seen something. We'll have to see. But I think we do have something. We have a Paris, Ponyard, Staryu, Honedge, Weedle, Dark Energy, Evelyn, Pupitar, Kakuna. Oh, and here we have a Prism Star. We have Shaman Prism Star. Very, very nice. Uh, definitely nice in those Rayquaza decks. Uh, 30 times the amount of basic energy attached to all of your Pokemon. So definitely a nice little one prize attacker for those types of decks. And we have a rare Zep Strike. I really like the art on this thing too. Not too great of a card, but looks nice if nothing else. So very nice guys. We did get a Prism Star at the least. So like I said, staying on track with our pull rates here. We got a pretty decent one in the process, I'd say. Uh, we have one pack left for this half of the box, guys. Let's see what we can make happen here. So ideally we can get a tag team or something a little cooler to close out this half of the box. But even if we don't, like I said, we're already doing kind of good on our pool rates. All right, so here we have Magikarp, Execute, Helioptile, Meowth, Nidoran Male, Lightning Energy, Viridian Forest, very nice. Gonna be looking for full art versions, or I'm sorry, not for, but the reverse versions of this as well. Rapidash. Electro Charger, Reverse Seb Striker, and we just have a rare muck to close out this half of the box. So like I already said a couple times, guys, you know, I think our GXs have been a little depressing to be honest, but our actual pull rates have been good. So if we can just like duplicate the same thing on this other half of the box, just with some better quality pulls, then we're gonna be in good shape. So let's keep on going and see what we can make happen here. All right, so here we have Mareep, Charmander, Hone Edge, another Pidgeotto, Nidoran Male, Water Energy, Brock's Grit, Pokemon Communication, very nice, Flaffy, Reverse Hollow Nidoking, and we have another Alolan Muk. There we go. All right, so here we have Weedle, Volibee, Tritini, Zerua, Psyduck, uh, Psychic Energy, Spirit Tomb, another Viridian Forest, very nice, Tentacruel, Reverse Hollow Grimer, and we have a Rare Nine Tails. Card has kind of a cool ability. I'm not sure if it's actually gonna see play like this card to fire, then basically Lysander, essentially, so. Uh, we could see this in like Blacephalon potentially. Like, it's a cool ability, but having this card to fire energy every time seems a little bit tricky to make happen, but seems like a cool card. We'll have to see if it actually does anything, but. All right, so here we have Pidgey. Routini, and this one has an ability, permit all effects of your opponent's attacks, except damage on this Pokemon. That's not too bad, I guess. 70 HP is also kind of nice. Ponyard, Alolan Grimer, Ponyta, Fighting Energy, Jasmine, very nice. Dragonair, Torcat, Reverse Hall Moltres, which is a rare. And we do have a tag team. Uh, we do have Latias and Latias GX, so we are starting to get some tag teams, but this is debatably like the least playable in the whole set. And it's not even a bad card, but like it just kind of gets, I think, eclipsed by some of the other ones like Venusaur, Celebi, Pikachu, Zacrom, Eevee, Snorlax. So even though, you know, our <laughs> our wishes have been granted, we have gotten something better than Mr. Mime and Cavalion. This is not a huge step up. So I'm hoping this is kind of like the dud of all of our boxes as far as like the quality of our pulls go. Like. We're, I've mentioned before, we're doing good as far as the rates, but the quality of pulls leave something to be desired. But hey, um, you know, Latias and Latias, like I said, it's not a terrible card by any means. It just kind of gets outclassed by some of the other tag teams that we're getting, especially if we're talking about decks like Malamar that can use some of the tag teams. Latias and Latias looks like one of the less appealing ones to use. All right, so here we have Vulpix, Pancham, Squirtle, 
Klefki, Voltor, Metal Energy, another Dublade, Flaffy, Morgan, First Hollow Mimikyu, another alternate type card. And we have a rare Manda Buzz. All right, guys, we have a Joltik, Blitzel, Squirtle, Tentacool, Grimer, Fairy Energy, Kangaskhan, Cosmoam, Hitmonchan, Reverse Hall Litten, very nice if we get some Incineroars to go with this, and a rare Mr. Mime. So at least we haven't really been getting too many like duplicate rares or anything like that. That is something I am pretty thankful for. Here we have Mareep, Ferroseed, Charmander, Helioptile, Mankey, Water Energy, Kabuto, Nita, Nidorina. I think that's actually our first Nidorina if I remember right. We have Reverse Electrode, which is a rare. And we have a Hollow Gyarados. I actually forgot about this card. This is another uh, potentially viable non-GX. So reveal the top seven of your deck. There's 30 more for every water energy you find there. So this actually could be kind of a cool deck. I've seen some people talking about it. So definitely not too bad of a hollow rare to get. I actually think as far as the quality of pools goes, I think our hollow rares are actually beating out our GXs right now, as sad as that is. And there's still plenty of other ones we haven't even gotten. Like we haven't even gotten Jirachi or Charizard yet either. So definitely still looking for some of those. Here we have Amolga, Staryu, Puchiana, Geodude, Paris, Dark Energy, Kakuna, Rapidash, Return Label. It's actually the first time I think I've even seen this. Put a card from your opponent's discard pile on the bottom of their deck. Very interesting. Maybe this was like a promo in Japan or something. That's probably why I don't remember it off the top of my head. Interesting card. We have Reverse Galvantula. And we have a rare Pidgeot. So yet again, at least we have a new rare. It's not a duplicate. I guess that is one upside to these sets uh, lately being so huge. There's so many cards that it's actually kind of tricky to get duplicates uh, in the same box. So that is kind of nice at the least. Uh, sometimes, sometimes you, you do want duplicates to replace sets, but as far as just collecting some of these junky rares go, uh, is pretty nice to only get one at a time. But here we have Grimer, Execute, Larvitar, Meowth, Nidoran Female, Lightning Energy, Jinx, Hitmonlee, Dana. We have Reverse Ponyta, and we have a Rare Starmie. I think we got the Reverse version of that one last time. Alrighty, so we have Charmander. Definitely wouldn't mind some reverse ones of that one either. Mankey, Litten, Amolga, Mareep, Water Energy, Evelyn, Pupitar. Oh, I think we have something, guys. We have Kakuna. Ooh, very nice. We have Reverse Zorak. Definitely not a bad reverse to get. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh my god. This box is trolling me so hard. I was thinking even as we were opening this pack, I was like, well, at least there's like no way it's going to be another Cabalion or a Mr. Mime. I forgot we can still get the full arts of those cards. Oh, geez. Okay. So, I mean, it is a full art. It does look nice and I do need it for my collection, but <laughs> this is such a bad box as far as the actual like quality pulls. I know there's a lot of collectors out there that watch these opening videos. So they're probably like, what are you talking about? Like, what's the problem? But uh, as far as competitive play, a lot of these cards are pretty bad. So we're kind of striking out there, but hey, it is a full art. We haven't pulled it yet. So, <laughs> oh God, we're going to have to make do with it. So right now we're at five ultra rares. We need something better to close out this box. If we get like a secret rare, like Pokemon communication or judge's whistle or something like that, that would actually maybe make up for some of these pulls so far. So fingers crossed we can get one other like decent pull before the end of this opening. Here we have Cosmog, Magikarp, Zerua, Larvitar, 
Psyduck, uh, Lightning RG, Ammonite, Jasmine, Dragonair, Reverse Hollow Bronzor, and we have a rare pincer. All right, so if I can see correctly, I think we have six packs left. Uh, luckily it is usually one out of every six packs is an ultra rare out of a sealed box. So statistically we should have something else kind of lurking around in here too. So here we have Puchina, Nidoran, Pancham, Voltorb, Klefki, Fire Energy, Fossil, Farfetch, Tentacruel, Reverse Skarmory, which is a rare, and we have a rare Mimikyu. Really curious, this one's not a hollow. The like the old one that was a psychic type, that one was hollow. So kind of interesting, they kind of nerfed the rarity of this, but maybe it was like this in Japan too, I don't remember. So that's nice. Um, we already have the reverse version, so the non-hollow one is gonna be new for us at the least. All right, so here we have Mareep, Charmander, Hone Edge, Pidgeotto, Nidoran, Fighting Energy, Kangaskhan, Cosmoem, Hitmonchan, Reverse Hollow Eveltal, which is rare, so that's cool. <laughs> and nice, we have Amphorce GX. I actually almost forgot about this guy. This is a stable non-tag team Pokemon that we have here in the set. So I totally forgot about Amphorce. Very happy to get that. If we're not gonna get a tag team or something like that, this and Incineroar are gonna be the ideal GX pulls then in place of those. So I'm cool with that. Definitely much more playable than Cabalion and Mr. Mind. That is for sure. So we pretty much hit like our, our average as far as our ultra rare pulls go. Uh, we do still need a prism star or two, I think to really be doing good there. Um, so we're still looking for that. And I think for hollow rares, we're almost there too. I think we need like one or two more and we'll hit like our average that we need to. But here we have Meowth, Geodude, Grimer, Pidgey, Bronzor, Metal Energy, Kabuto, Fairy Charm, Charmeleon, Reverse Hollow Golduck, and we have a Parasect. Alrighty. So I kind of st struck out in that pack there, nothing too special. So here we have ourselves a Pidgey, Tratini, Ponyard, Grimer, Ponyta, Dark Energy, Grass Memory, Rapidash, Return Label, Reverse Hollow Voltorb, and we have Pangoro. So I think we got the reverse version of this, so this is at least not a duplicate, technically, even though it's not a great card by any stretch of imagination. But three packs left, guys. We can still make some cool stuff happen here. We haven't had a Hollow Rare in a few packs, so if we can maybe close this out with a Jirachi, that would actually be fantastic. Uh, Charizard would also be appreciated as well. And of course, any full art, secret rares, anything special like that too. But here we have Volibee, Weedle, Helioptile, Execute, Ferroseed, Fire Energy, War Turtle, Heliolisk, Buff Padding, Reverse Hollow Ferroseed. And nice, we got ourselves a Jirachi. So, especially guys, if we're not going to get another Ultra or anything like that, getting this Jirachi is actually a fantastic way to kind of wrap up this opening. Definitely, I think, one of the absolute best cards to come out of Team Up. Look at the top five cards of your deck, get a trainer card you find there, then you put Jirachi asleep. So a very nice card at getting your deck set up, especially if you have a skateboard on this guy. Very, very powerful little combo with this thing. So that's actually really, really nice. I think this is actually, this is, I think, probably the pull of the box, as weird as that sounds. Uh, maybe the Fuller Ingo and Emmett is probably technically the pull of the box, but I think this is actually probably second since I think this is actually probably more expensive than the other ultra rares we've pulled so far. So very nice guys. I mean, of course we got two packs left, so let's try to get something else cool if we can. But even if we don't, like I said, I think it's a nice way to kind of, you know, round down or wind down this opening here. So we have Joltik, Blitzel, Squirtle, Tentacool, Grimer, Fairy Energy, Persian, 
Metal goggles. Golduck. Nice, we have another Prism Star. We were looking for one of these. And Black Market is actually pretty good as well. Definitely a fantastic Prism Star pool to get here. And we have an Alolan Golem. Yet again, I think this is actually a new rare. We have the reverse version, if my memory serves me correct. So let's just get a sleeve on our Black Market. Definitely a nice little pool here. Uh, it looks like we might only uh, end up getting two Prism Stars, but even still, I don't think there's even that many in the set. So, you know, I, I think we should be able to pull what we need here out of these boxes as far as our Prism Star pulls go. So, very last pack of the box, guys. We're going to try to get something here. Hopefully, we can end this with at least one more good pull. We have a Cosmog, Magikarp, Zerua, Larvitar, Psyduck, Lightning Energy, Omanyte, Tauros, Lavender Town. Very nice, we have Reverse Hollow Double Aid, so even if our rare is bad, I'm honestly fine with how this pack is going to end. And we have a rare Bronzong. I actually think this is a duplicate, which is kind of unfortunate. I do remember pulling one of these earlier, but hey, we did get the Reverse Double Aid, which is actually super, super cool. Uh, but yeah, guys, so just give me a second. I'm going to go through some of this bulk real quick, and then we'll do a quick recap to end this video. So just give me one second. Alrighty, guys, so for our Hollow Rare pools, we got Bill's Analysis, we got Zapdos, Eveltal, Aloha Ninetales, Gyarados, and of course, the Stellar Jirachi. Uh, so in total here, we got six Hollow Rare pools, so right about where we want to be for our box. And I think the actually quality pulls was pretty solid. We got Zapdos and Jirachi are going to be the big ones, but also Gyarados and Ninetales really aren't too bad of pulls either. So pretty happy with how these turned out overall. For our Prism Stars, we only got two, which feels a little bit low, but again, I haven't really been watching too much of the openings of this set, so I'm really not sure what the average is, but even still, we got some pretty decent ones, Black Market and Shaman. Then for our Ultra Rares, we have Ampharos GX, Latias and Latios, we have Cabalion, we got Mr. Mime, and then for our Full Arts, we got an Ingo Emmett and a Full Art Cabalion. So we got six Ultra Rares in total, Unfortunately, the actual quality of them is pretty terrible. This is actually, I think, quality-wise, one of the worst boxes that I've actually seen uh, in a while. Uh, luckily, we did get the Floor Ingo Emmet, and Ampharos GX really isn't too bad either. But overall, really hoping these other boxes uh, kind of go in a different direction. Want to get some more tag teams, full art, secret rares, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but nevertheless, we still did okay as far as our actual pull rates go. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is going to be the first box of the opening. Definitely stay tuned for when boxes two and three get uploaded. But as usual, feel free to like and subscribe and consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg or by picking up some merch from our online store, rarecandytcg.com. Really makes doing these booster box openings a lot easier on us financially. It really helps out a lot. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.